In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this three layer pie design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this pie with three layers and I've added the cherry on the top. You can add the option one text here to three. And if you want to add more options, you can add it and then uh, add the details towards the right. So you can add the title for the option one, two and three. Similarly, I have created one more slide with a dark background. You can see the same thing, but with a dark background. So depending on the requirement, you can choose the slide. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the triangle, draw or triangle, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline, go to rotate, flip vertical, then align center, align middle. And I'm going to do the next activity, which is to make the top one a rounded. Now it's flat, right? For that, right mouse click, go to the edit points. And you can see here, there are three edit points. I'm going to choose the top right one. So just click it on this. And you can see here, there are two small squares. So select the square, which is at the top and drag it till like this. You can see here, bring it till here and that's it i'm not going to do anything on this side rather i'm going to cut this one from the left for that go to the insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering only the the left side of the triangle shape outline make it no outline then next step which i'm going to do is i'm going to select the shape of this triangle hold the shift key select this one and go to the merge shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this then press ctrl d to duplicate rotate flip horizontal and put it here like this so i end up getting a shape which looks kind of a, a pizza slice so i'm going to select both the shapes go to the shape format merge shapes and union so i got this shape the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to give a 3d format for that right mouse click go to the format shape under the effects go to the 3d rotation presets and i'm going to choose from the parallel this one which is the isometric top up you can see here and now again if you want to increase the size hold the shift key and increase the size and placed it something like this and if you want to give a different color, you can just give any color of your choice. I'm going to choose this color. The next thing which I'm going to add the, the slices here. Okay. Or the layers, not the slices, but the layers. Okay. For that, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle exactly from this corner till this corner. It doesn't matter if it goes up also. It doesn't matter. Let me just make it transparent shape outline, make it no outline. Let me just zoom in and you have to just make sure it is exactly from this corner. Okay. If not, you have to just align it properly. Yeah. From here also, I'm going to check whether it is. Yeah. This is look, this looks okay. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of these options or this rectangle. So go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this right triangle draw a right triangle like this you can see here all right so now what happens here is if i make it like this the layer will look like this so i don't want this layer to be like that so first of all what i will do i'll move this aside and i will reduce the size the height of this one maybe only i need only this much and then i'm going to bring it here Place it again, shape outline, make it no outline. You can give some different color for a better understanding and make this also transparent. Then I'm going to reduce the size here. Can you see here? If it is not visible, let me just give a different color. Yeah. So now make sure it is properly aligned and I'm going to make it like this. Can you see here? Now this looks perfect for me. Otherwise, what will happen is if you want to add the next layers, it will not fit. So make sure that it is properly aligned or the same spaces. 
so once this is done i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to make it rotate and put it here again i'm going to make it flip horizontal select this one you can see here this looks perfectly all right for me let me just give a different color can you see here let me just bring it down yeah and i'm going to cut that part okay even if it is above this one it doesn't matter okay here also make sure that it is properly aligned this one let me just align it yeah so as a safer side i'm going to right mouse click and duplicate this one if something goes wrong i have a backup slide so i'm going to select this square the or the rectangle hold the shift key select this shape the top uh, right triangle go to the shape format merge shape and subtract then select this one and subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this all right so let me just remove the transparency and you can just give any color of your choice i'm going to give a black then press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some gray color and put it here so this is my second layer all right then press ctrl d i'm going to give maybe a green this is my third layer press ctrl d again now if you want to give some some gray layers and if you want to make it more up also you can do it and then send this to back it looks something like this so i'm going to use three layers only so now select all those things and you can press ctrl g to group it all right and sorry this also i have to group ctrl g now you can see here it's already grouped now depending on the requirement you want to add the text the layers or whatever the icons you can just add it here so for example i would like to add one cherry on top so go to insert pictures i'm going to select the online pictures and here the online pictures i'm going to choose or i'm going to type the cherry all right so now you've got white varieties of cherry so pick the right one so maybe i'm going to choose uh, let me just choose this one click insert there's some error message but anyway uh, you can let me just try once again if not we'll ignore it or i'll just copy from the top let me just type cherry sometimes it's a problem i have to restart and open once again let me just click insert no it's not happening so let me just copy this one from here Control c and i'll paste it here okay so this is the cherry i have added on the top of this uh, pie okay and then you can go to the insert text box i'm going to type for example add your text here all right make it open sans semi bold put the text here it is not visible black on black so i'm going to make it white and i would like to put here but if you see here if i put like this it is not uh, aligning properly it's not on the top of the layer the black okay for that i have to go to the text options and i have to select the text effects go to the 3d rotation under the text effects not under the shape formats remember that because we are working with the text so now here maybe i'm going to select this one let's see and i'm going to put it like this again this is also not properly adjusted or aligned oh, so you've got different you can see here different options available so whichever options which you fit better we have to choose it so this is nothing is happening so maybe i have to go and i have to select this perspective i believe let me just select this perspective and then you can see here there are other different positions i've got y rotation and all those things i have to just rotate it or i have to just make it you can see here there are different ways you can do it all right and then put it here add your text here so let me just align it one more time put it here and then press ctrl d give a different color now maybe a black on this one put it here again align it properly whichever way you want all right so you can see here i can just align it and press ctrl d this should be white again like this you can add the text 
and here again if you want to add more details so go to insert text box i'm going to say 01 title here again make it open sans semi bold or extra bold then go to insert again text box equals lorem within bracket one reduce the font size and put it here so this is my 01 text so for this also let me just select all and i'll move it here a little bit left side now i've got the space to add the text so this is my first one hold the control shift key this is the second one and this is the third one just we can add the details if you want you can just color it according to the color what we have selected maybe green this is kind of a gray or a white basically and then this is a black it's a black only all right so you can see here this way you can simply add these three layers of pie design 